Hello, hello, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Live Paint Bucket tool in Adobe Illustrator. The Paint Bucket tool is a fantastic way to add color to your artwork, but it does work a little bit differently to the Paint Bucket tool in Photoshop. First, you might notice that we don't have a Paint Bucket tool in our toolbar here, and it's not hiding underneath any of these other tools. We can get to the Paint Bucket tool from one of two ways. So we can either use the shortcut K on our keyboard and that will bring it up at the very bottom of the toolbar. Or we can switch to the advanced toolbar to get it. So we can click these three dots down here, go up to this hamburger menu and switch from basic to advanced. Once you've done that, it will be hiding underneath the shape builder tool, which looks like this little cloud. So I'm just holding down on that, or you can right click on it and it will bring it up. So we're using the Live Paint Bucket tool. First though, we do need to select something for it to work. So back up to the Move tool, and then I click and drag to select my artwork. This is outlined text, so it is fully vector, but this will work on any vector work you have. So K to get back to the Live Paint Bucket tool. And you'll notice that we have these squares above my cursor, and these are actually our swatches. So I can use the arrow keys to cycle through the swatches that are saved on my computer. I can also hold Alt or Option to pick a color, or I can double click on this to select a color. So I'm going to use one of my swatches for this, just so we can very clearly see what's happening. And then I'm going to zoom in on this, so you can either use Alt and, or Option and then the scroll wheel, or you can use Command or Control and then Plus or Minus to zoom in and out. But I'm on a trackpad, so I am zooming in and out by pinching and zooming. Once I've done that, you'll see that we can see all of the intersections of our shape. So even though these two aren't the same shape, I can see where the intersections occur and the paint bucket will respect those. So if I click here, you'll see that it fills that intersection that's been split up by the shapes. So I can just keep doing that, and that will fill my intersections. If you want to color multiple areas at once, you can click and drag, and that colors in multiple areas at once. So, so with some words colored in, I'm going to go back to my move tool. We'll use the shortcut V to get back to that. And this is what my artwork looks like at the moment. So I'm just going to select it again. And you'll notice that we've got these little squares around our bounding box. Now, what this means is this is a live paint group. So you can't do much to this. Think of this as kind of like a compound path or even just a regular group in Illustrator. We can double click into it if we want to and you'll see in our little navigation up here, we're in our live paint group. And we've got multiple live paint groups in here. So I'm gonna double click to get out of that, select it again. Then in the Properties panel, and if you don't have the Properties panel open, you can go Window and then find Properties. I'm just going to click Expand here. And now this is a group, no longer a live paint group, it's just a regular group, and I can ungroup it here. You might have to ungroup multiple times, but then all of our pieces are separated. So you can see that. Sometimes it does get a little bit weird, like here, for example, and here. So just keep that in mind. Depending on what you're using this for, there may be some cleaning up to do after the fact. So we could merge these together, but the Live Paint group itself doesn't do that. So those could all be one piece if you wanted, but they are not by default. So that's how we use the Live Paint Bucket tool. It can be absolutely fantastic for filling in your artwork with color, but it does take some getting used to because of those differences it shares from Adobe Illustrator. 
If you liked that video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.